Tessie's my little sister by about 18 months. And wherever Tessie was, I was. We were inseparable. Other than my kids, um, Tessie was the love of my life, for sure. Tessie Sylvester died two weeks ago, leaving behind five siblings, 10 nieces and nephews, and two sons, Gus and Freddie. She also was a widow. John Sylvester died on June 16, 2017, and on that exact same day. She was on the phone with the funeral director, and her other line beeped in, and it was her doctor saying, you have cancer and it doesn't look good. We got everybody here, and there was that moment of, I need a plan. I remember saying, I need a plan because I'm going to fight this. I'm going to do everything I can for my boys. We sat here in this room, and we planned as much as we could. And from that point on, she fought, and she fought as hard as she could. The plan was clear, fight the cancer and make darn sure Freddie and Gus, who had just lost their dad, wouldn't lose one second of the life their mom had left. She said, I can't just lay in bed all day. I have two little boys and I need to live as much as I can and make as many memories as I can. And that's what she did. Memories were made. The pictures tell that story and painful realities were confronted as well. And she always told them and told us, even when my body's not here, I want you to be happy so I can see that mm -hmm. because I'm still going to be there. I'm still going to be with you. But two weeks before Tessie died, she wanted to show her boys, while she still could, that when she was gone from this life, that it would be okay. As things got closer for Tessie, she had called and she said, Jenny, what do you think about doing this right now? So from her hospital bed, Tessie smiled as her sister Jenny adopted Gus and Freddie. An overwhelming amount of love for those two boys. That's, that is why Tessie was here, was for those two boys. She kept saying to them, have so much fun, have so much fun, so I can see that. You know, it's one thing for people to say things, it's another thing for them to live what they say. True. Did Tessie have so much fun? Absolutely, absolutely. That's why it's easy to smile, thinking of her. And ultimately, that's why it can't end with a sad story. She would have never, ever wanted that. When Tessie got sick, she had to stop working to fight that cancer and raise those two little boys so she didn't have health insurance anymore. Illness can be financially devastating, and this family had two horrific battles with illness. To help them out, a GoFundMe has been set up. It's on my Twitter and Facebook pages. It will also be our, on our online story if you would like to donate. Tessie Sylvester was 38 years old. We'll be right back.